Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and this video part in is uh, about another hedging strategy um, which people are using and I thought I must also share this one with you all. Okay, this uh, strategy is better than the previous one. Why? Because it is using lower lot sizes. Okay, um, if you are starting with 0 0.1 the next trade will be having 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and just like that you are multiplying each lot size by the number 2 to get the next trade's lot size okay if you're starting with point, point 0.3 then your next lot size with point 0.6, 1.2, 2.4 multiply this number with the number 2 to get the, ne to get the next order's lot size Okay, if you're starting with 0.5, then the next order's lot will be 1, and then 2, then 4, just like that. Okay, so anyways, let me go ahead and explain this strategy in here for you. And I will be taking some good and some bad examples, and then uh, I will tell you when you should use this strategy. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you're trying to use it manually, then that's good. If you want uh, to use it um, automatic version of this then I think you don't need to go with automatic version by yourself because I have that you can purchase it from me anyways let me go ahead and um, tell you how it works so the first thing you need to do um, you start a trade you do your analysis you look at the market and you use some indicators whatever then you decide what you are going to do you will place a buy trade or sell trade based on uh, your decision like uh, if you say okay i'm going to place a buy trade then you place that buy trade okay and you place that with this much lot size okay uh, if you have a bigger investment then you use this one if you have a smaller investment then you can even start with 0 0.01 okay then you use 0 0.02 and just like that but if you have uh, a big investment and you can afford to open this much lot then uh, you can start with 0 0.1 no problem so anyways you start with uh, 0 0.1 and <clears throat> let's say you placed a buy trade okay so whenever you place a trade whether a buy or sell at the same time you need to place if you if you have placed a buy trade then you need to place a sell stop trade below 40 points okay and um, before i actually go ahead and describe all these things i must tell you that this time you are using one to one ratio for your take profit and sl okay if your take profit is 40 pips then your sl will also be 40 pips if your take profit is 60 pips then your sl will also be 60 pips so it is one to one ratio okay and the distance between these uh, these trades the buy trade and the sell stop trade will be the 40 points okay so <coughs> you have placed a buy trade with 0 0.1 lots and you have placed a sell stop below 40 points with 0 0.2 lots okay so let's say the market is going upward but it came down and it activated your sell stop at this time your buy trade will be closed and that will give you 40 pips loss and that will be equal to let's say 0 0.1 equals 0 0.1 dollar so in that case your loss will be four dollars minus four dollars okay <clears throat> let's say market is going uh, continuously going downwards but at this time when um, this sell stop is activated you need to place a buy stop above here with 0 0.4 lots and um, 
and this trade will be closed so let's cut it out and this sell stop will become a market order and now it's a sell trade if this time market goes in your favor and it uh, closed at take profit for this sell trade this sell trade because this sell trade was having 0.2 lots then now your profit will be 0.4 into 0. Point, uh, sorry 0. Point, um, 0. Point 0.2 into 40 so that will be 8 bucks profit okay so if you will take this number and you will take this number the previous trade was in loss but this one is in profit you subtract this number from this one you get a four bucks profit okay so uh, so overall you are ended up in profit this time but now let's say um, the market didn't move the way you wanted it it moved against you and it uh, activated this one this trade which was zero point uh, which was having 0 0.4 lots and um, this sell trade is closed in loss because it has reached its, its SL value so now because it's uh, closed in its SL value so you have another $8 loss for this trade but now you have opened a trade with 0 0.4 lots and it's a buy trade because this was a buy stop and it is now activated you need to place a sell stop here at, the, at this time when it is activated and when this order is closed this time you are opening a trade with 0 0.8 lots okay 0 0.8 lots yes <coughs> if this time uh, market goes in your favor and it closed in profit so uh, you will get 0 0.4 into 40 that equals 16 bucks profit okay <coughs> your previous total loss was minus 12 bucks and now you have got 16 bucks profit so if you will subtract it subtract this profit from your previous loss then you will be having four bucks profit from it you can subtract your spreads from it to get the exact to get the net profit okay this is gross profit so anyways um, <coughs> uh, <coughs> that's how this strategy works okay and if this time uh, if even this time it didn't uh, closed in profit then uh, and it goes in it goes against you so this 16 bucks will also be a loss for you and uh, the market will go against you and it will activate this one this trade and you will place the next trade which is in our uh, in the cycle that is 1.6 uh, the <coughs> the buy stop here with 1.6 lots right here okay and if this time it closed in profit so you will get uh, 32 bucks profit from it okay because 8 0 0.8 into 4 equals 32 okay so if you get 32 bucks profit from this one then your profit is 32 bucks and then your total loss is 8 plus 4 12 plus 16 that is uh, 28 so even this uh, even at this even in this case you are getting four bucks profit okay so um, this is uh, pretty simple and it is easy to understand a strategy and it is simple one okay and um, if you will choose this strategy uh, when market is more volatile like when some news are coming and 
when you know that this news will be released at this time and when this news will be released the market will move about 100 or 200 pips in any direction either downwards or upwards then you can um, you can start with uh, with a trade at that time before the news okay if you will place that news that trade before that news and you are on a fixed spread broker then you will be definitely earning profits and this is definite thing okay uh, when you are trading in forex market there are always uncertainties but when mar when you know that uh, this news has uh, has a high impact on the market and it will make the market move about 100 or 200 pips um, in in any one direction then that is a sure way time to get profits okay um, this was pretty much all about this uh, this strategy and I also offer a robot for this strategy so if you want that robot I can give it to you and um, um, first you need to understand this strategy okay um, and then you can come back and you can ask for the robot okay and its price details everything is written on my website uh, or you can email me for that and I will tell you uh, how much how much price it has so let me go ahead and write my email address in here because sometimes um, people uh, download this video from YouTube and upload uh, on their own channel so you may not find my email address if it is on some someone else's channel so that's why I'm writing my email address here you can also uh, reach me at Outlook you can also reach me at Skype and you can also find me on Facebook with this one so this was pretty much all about this video part I hope you have enjoyed it and later on I will also um, post the multi hedging strategy using this simple one okay so wait for that and um, for now you can test it um, on your on your with your broker and see how how much profitable it is and also share the results with me so this was pretty much all about this one thank you for watching see you next time